never mind how many tricky uh, overrides we can do, we are not able to make line, uh, labels on non-straight lines. And that's where we will need to use an annotation layer. So an annotation layer is a standard layer that you're only going to use for labeling purposes. Um, so if we go in and we'll just start out by uh, saving, save our changes, yeah, to that layer, a new standard layer. So I'll go into layers and create a new shape file. I'll make sure it's a line. I'll say label text. It's going to be an add, remember to say add to. So it appears down here. And I can say OK. And I'll save it. Uh, label line like that. Yeah. So now I've got this attribute this table here, I can set it into edit mode and I can go in and choose add a feature and then I can click along something like this right click that's label one and then I can write Yes. Copenhagen is the capital of Denmark. Good. So I can now label this layer. Let's use the standard labeling here and say label layer of label text. Apply. So now you see it says Copenhagen, but it doesn't follow the line. So I go down under my placement and I say it's allowed to be curved on line. So now we've got it. We have a nice little text saying Copenhagen is the capital of Denmark. That's fine. I'm satisfied. The only thing I now need to do is to take this out of edit mode. Save, yes please. And I don't need the line itself any longer. So I can go in and its properties and its style and set the brush, the pen style to no pen. So this way I've created a layer I can use for annotation purposes where I can draw a line and I can follow, make my text follow the line. So this is what we call an annotation layer. And um, that is what I have on advanced labeling and how to do advanced labeling in QGIS. Hope you like the videos. See you. Bye.